Condens After Dark is a food truck park in Wells Beach that features all sorts of cuisines coming out of a rotating schedule of food trucks. Now we have enjoyed the talent and creativity of our viewers who rolled up their sleeves and, and submitted viewer cooking segments. But we also put the call out to food trucks. Despite it being a busy time of year, Chef Calvin Caparis from Congdon Street Kitchen took time out to show us how he makes the perfect potato croquette. So we're gonna start with cooking our potatoes. I've got four russet potatoes here, which probably equals about two pounds. We're gonna start with cold water and make sure they're submerged fully. And we'll bring it to a, a heavy simmer. I start with cold water to make sure the potatoes cook fully through evenly. So I'm about 40 minutes in, potatoes are done cooking. One easy way to tell your potatoes are done, you can put a knife straight through the potato with no resistance. You can see I boiled them with skin on, whole. Two reasons I did that. One is I don't want a lot of water content in my potato puree. And second, leaving the skin on can help save some of the nutrients of the potato. At this point, it's very simple to get the skin off. You can either use your fingers or take a spoon and lightly scrape. The skin will come off nice and easy. I like to take out knots or discoloration as well, just so I can have an even homogeneous color of the potato puree. I don't want any brown or anything like that. So now I want to break up the potato, basically mash it. But I want to do it in a way that doesn't work the starches. I don't want to play with it, work it too much. I don't want to make it gummy. I want to have a nice, smooth, silky smooth, velvety puree. One easy method is a potato ricer. Just toss your potato in, pass it through. And I'm putting my potatoes into some melted butter. I'm gonna mix the potatoes with the butter to make the puree. And I've gone about a one to two ratio uh, butter to potatoes. So the weight of the butter is about half of the potato weight. This way I can have very smooth, creamy, rich potato puree. At this point, you can see I've got my potatoes and butter together. I'll just do a little whisk just to bring the butter into the potatoes folds right in very nicely. It's that simple. And I've got a rich, creamy, silky smooth potato puree. Now at this point you want to season your potatoes while they're hot. You can add your salt, garlic powder, any flavors you desire. Now I've got my potatoes seasoned into a piping bag so we can make straight logs out of the potatoes for the croquettes. The trick here is to not hesitate. And just go nice and smooth, even pressure. At this point, potatoes are frozen and ready to be breaded. So now we can choose our size of the croquettes. We'll be going about two inches. And just cutting them. It's your desired length. So we have your potato filling, which you can now bread. For the breading station, I have flour. We'll make an egg wash, just by taking a couple eggs. Giving them a quick whisk. We'll finish with panko breadcrumbs. You can add herbs or spices to your panko breadcrumbs for an opportunity for more flavor, if you would like as well. To start the breading procedure. Cover your filling, your potato filling, with the flour. Straight into the egg wash. So you really wanna make sure you're covering it fully, really submerging them in the eggs. And then straight into the panko. I think it will stick nicely to your egg wash. And there we have our potato croquette ready to be fried and cooked. And now for the final step, we can cook our croquettes. 
frying them in oil about 350 degrees. We're using our fry lighters here on our food truck. You can use oil in a pot at your house as well. Croquettes fry until the breading is nice and crispy, golden brown. You can see the outside's nice and crispy and crunchy, and the inside's a nice velvety smooth potato filling. Thank you, Calvin. We will share the recipe for Congdon Street Kitchen potato croquettes in the 207 section of our website and mobile app.